how do you move fast enough to get over there? <laughs> By the time I've realized where the ball's going, my brain hasn't told me to move. I have just arrived at the training ground for Premier League Soccer Club Watford FC for something really exciting. I'm about to meet Ben Foster, the Watford goalkeeper. For those of you that don't know, Ben is one of the most experienced footballers in the Premier League. Over his 18-year senior career, he has established himself as one of the most dependable players in football. In fact, he currently holds the record for the most goals saved in the Premier League. And not only that, he's even played for England in a World Cup. But I know what you're thinking. Why on earth are we talking about a footballer? This is a cycling channel, after all. Well, it turns out Ben Foster is a seriously keen cyclist and actually a fan of the channel. So we thought this was the perfect opportunity to entertain our curiosity. And with a little help from Zwift, we're going to find out just how fit is a professional footballer. Before we jumped on our bikes, though, we had a sit down with Ben Foster to find out a bit more about him and his cycling. I prefer to look at myself as a cyclist um, and then a part-time footballer. That's what I tell the kids anyway. Um, yeah, they think daddy's a cyclist more than anything. Um, but your cycling's turned out to be pretty competitive, hasn't it? I heard this morning that you were quite into chasing your KOMs and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I've always been competitive, to be fair. Um, no matter what it is, no matter what I'm playing, if I'm playing... I remember playing Mario Kart on the, on the Nintendo 64 with my sister when I was a kid, and losing would be the end of the world. So it's no different with cycling now, uh, whether it's you know, doing what bike challenges in the gym, whether it's trying to go com hunting on Strava out on my local, my local routes. Um, yeah, I love it. I've seen on the board over in your gym that your 24 second power is insane. It's something like 1,220 watts. That's a lot of power, Ben. Um, yeah, that was, um, like I say, the, the competition is so extreme now that like, people are doing leg weights just so they can get a better score on the watt bike. It's ridiculous. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's good that you've got a few of the players to sort of bounce off, um, so you sort of all push each other to, to try and get a better score. Who's the current leader? Uh, Max Power, Troy Deeney, to be fair, Max Power. He's, he's an animal. Um, he's, he's over 2,000 watts. Um, I think my PB is 1769. Um, but then the 30 second one I'm winning, but Troy got, I think, 59 seconds for a one kilometre. To put some of those numbers into context, the world record for the kilo cycling for one kilometre from a standing start is just 56 seconds. So these guys are pretty handy. I thought this was going to be a walk in the park, but now I'm starting to get nervous. Right, Ben, obviously there's a reason we're here today and it's not to talk about football. We're going to test just how fit a professional footballer is against a professional cyclist. But there's no professional cyclist available, so we've got me, recently retired, getting my excuses in early. To find out just how fit Ben is, we're going to race head-to-head -head on Zwift, which is basically a virtual reality cycling playground. You put your bike on a static trainer and pedal, with all the power you put through your pedals translated into the virtual Zwift world. It means we can race together safely, and it means we won't be getting wet today. The first test, we'll find out how aerobically fit we are as we race over a flat seven kilometer course called the Fuego Flats. The second is an out and out sprint to try to put out our best peak maximum power. It's a bit like a five kilometer run and a 100 meter sprint. How'd you feel? Um, the time trial will not be my forte. Um, the sprint probably won't be my forte either. That's but what I was I'll, give to it, hear. I'll give it a good go. Right then, you ready? No, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Come on, three, two, one, go. Oh, I've gone out too fast on that. I'm burning. I think I'm actually in the lead at the minute. It's looking that way, isn't it? Now, at this point, as you can maybe tell, Ben has me worried. He's still on my wheel and we are nervously keeping an eye on each other. Our competitive natures are definitely coming through. We are both giving it our all. It's getting on your face. The talking stop now. Just over 800 meters to go. All right, 197. About a minute left. I'm about to do my best. Lasty pace in a minute. Oh well. Wow. Oh. Keen on it. Oh. 
201 heart rate. Oh, wow. Good work there. How much longer did that feel than seven kilometers? How'd you find that? Really, really tough. I think I was 3.30 yeah. average for 10 minutes. And that's... How does that compare to stuff you normally do? Well, if I can, I could probably hold for 10 minutes of a hill or a mountain, maybe 360 max. Yeah. Um, so it's well within the 10% yeah. that people talk about from inside to outside. And I'm going to Mallorca on Sunday, so I'm so, trying to hold back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So was I, actually. Yeah, it looked it. Yeah. <laughs> 201 heart rate. That's the wow. highest I've had this year. Is it? Yeah. I, I meant it when I said I was not going to leave anything. Yeah. That was incredible. Look at that jersey you got to show for it though. It's worth it, mate. It's the first one I've ever had. The results you have all been waiting for. Whilst Ben had me worried over the first part of the TT, I was able to use my experience and pace the effort slightly better, pulling away to a time of nine minutes, 30 seconds at 388 watts. Ben did put in an impressive effort, but the early pace setting cost him in the end, recording a respectable 1025 at 343 watts. Next up then, the sprint. Find a gear that works, get my breathing right, my pedals right. Something like that. All right. You got your hands ready, Ben? Yeah, I think you're so. You're going in the hoods, eh? Yeah. No. Oh, no, you're good. We are getting some drops. Right. Basically, when you're ready, but three, two, one. Go on, then. Yeah. That looks powerful. I don't know. That's not. <laughs> that's definitely not right. <laughs> The sprints were a much closer battle, and they really did have me worried. Ben laid down 1,529 watt peak power with a five second average of 1447 versus 1549 peak for me and 1509 for five seconds. This was too close for comfort, but it does show just how much explosive power a professional footballer is capable of producing, even after a 10 minute max effort. Right, I'm not going to take up any more of your time, Ben. A massive thank you for having us into your walk of life for the day. It's been really insightful and I've really enjoyed it. It's time to go home. Uh, no, no, can we, I've got an idea. Can we just go and try my sport for a little bit? Oh, football? Just a little bit. Yeah, I guess, I mean, it's getting quite late, but if you're sure. Two minutes, it'll be two minutes, honestly. Right, okay. Feeling pretty ready. Got my gloves on, your gloves. I'm told I'm meant to spit into these. My shorts, my socks. Come on, Ben, let's get going. No, no, the, the big goal. We've got to go in the proper goal. That, that one over there? No, 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 the proper one, this one, the big goal. Oh. Can you touch the bar? What, standing? How on earth you jump over there? <laughs> oh. oh. How do you move fast enough to get over there? <laughs> By the time I've realised where the ball's going, my brain hasn't told me to move. <laughs> <You know. laughs> oh, yes. We can't run that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shall I see if I can get any in? Come on then. Shall I see if I can get any towards the goal? I'm, uh, I'm about to make Ben look like a Sunday league goalkeeper. I don't think I've ever been filmed taking a kick of a football before. <laughs> so it turns out a cyclist is better than a footballer at cycling, but only just. A footballer though is much better at football than a cyclist. If you do want to know more about Zwift, check out the link on your screen now. Ben, that was amazing. Thank you very much. I Better. do demand a rematch though sometime soon. Do it on football again if you want. Oh, I don't fancy my chances. I need more training. <laughs> I think you'll be all right. You're okay. Uh, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And to watch more videos, click down here.